yeah. because their behavior would have triggered a fight. Yeah. By them being in front doing that, barking, that's a fight. Yeah, yeah. See, they don't know how to wait. Mm -hmm. That's right. So their behavior is showing these dogs don't have discipline. Life is definitely simple. We make it complicated. So my goal in life right now is to make sure that I share my wisdom to the next generation. Move, move. But that's like, like that's like uh, skating the wrong way. Look, how are you? Hi, Hi. pleasure, pleasure. Okay, so this is your first dog psychology class. Your parents are doing terrible. Okay, so I hope they don't they they understand energy and psychology so they can teach you that. Okay, because you're in the next generation. Look at it. He's like, ah, my parents did wrong. Okay, so. This is, this is the, the right thing to do. The good thing is your dog is, in a way, happy-go-lucky. So when you, when, when you wanna, it's, this is like the brakes. You know, like the skate, you have a brake. You know, yeah, you yeah. can teach us about how to stop a skateboard. Yeah, yeah. So never put the leash on the bottom. This is, this is your gas pedal. Ah, uh, okay. So have you ever seen dog shows? I've watched a couple okay. of Okay, so dog show, always put the leash all the way on the top. Gotcha. Poodles are the first breed on dogs shows okay okay so when you see a handler and uh, they put the leash and they and they pull the leash up gotcha okay and then you can actually access that position so that way your dog doesn't go in front gotcha okay okay so this is your brakes a leash is meant for three things connection communication or stopping gotcha that's it, so that's how you need to think about a leash. What's the leash for? To correct a dog? No. To teach a dog? No. It's for connection, guidance, and stop. Gotcha. This is something that the human invented, just like the skateboard right, was invented right. by a human, right? Natural is your feet, yeah. right? But then the human is very creative, and it comes up with ways where he can learn how to play, follow, or explore. A skateboard is to play. Gotcha, okay. This You're is blowing my mind right now, honestly. Huh? You're blowing my mind. Honestly. Oh, good, good. Because you have a son, and you have to teach him the same shit. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, so that that way, when dogs are coming close to you, by her staying calm, surrender, that lets them know to give them a space. So they create a social distance naturally. Mm -hmm. But by your dog reacting that way, she's calling for a fight. Ah, uh, okay. And so by you standing behind, just pulling back, you're pretty much saying, "Go for it." Just asking for space. So here, hold this one. So what you do, same thing, same thing. So what you do in a situation like that, you change the position. Obviously, I love the color. Change the position on the leash. Ask for the same thing. So now instead of, of is it him or her? Her. her. So two, two females. So instead of her telling them how to be, you telling her how to be. So this is like driving the car versus she's driving the car. Mm -hmm. It's a metaphor, obviously, right? right. right? But, so when a dog is start telling another dog, she's telling them, you know, to give her space. But then you can trigger a fight because right. you brought that dog into that environment. True. You see it? So how do you make sure that your dog shares peaceful messages? So you tell the dog to be in a calm, surrender state. So that's your responsibility. By the way of holding the leash or by like that's right. Well, energy first. Energy, yeah. So a skateboard, right? So if I'm scared, more likely I'm gonna f I'm gonna fall. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So your energy is more important than you what, what you're about to do. Right, right. You said the stairs are there, yeah, yeah. but your fear can make you fall. Yeah. You calm confidence can make you jump it. Right. You see it? So the motion is after the energy. Gotcha. Okay. You get it? So your energy is before words coming out of your mouth or motion coming out of your body. Right, okay. So what's the energy? It's calm, confident, love, joy. Mm -hmm. Not joy, love, and then calmness, and then confidence. Which unconsciously or consciously, that's or slower. Here, hold it. So, so right now, hi, mm -hmm. a little too robotic, right? Gotcha. So it's more like Tai Chi. Watch this. Bring him in. Bring it in. Boom. So I have to feel like water. 
You know what I mean? So, so you actually make them jump and make them tense. Yeah. See? So calmness, you have to work on your calmness. Gotcha. Okay, so you might have confidence, but if you don't have calmness, you're going to come across tense. Okay. So tense, confident, is not good enough. Right. Calm, confident is how you don't lose trust, respect. Mm-hmm. Get it? Calm, That's right. Calm. Calmness feeds trust. Confidence feeds respect. Love feeds love. Mm-hmm. Excitement feeds excitement. Most dog lovers begin with joy and love. Ah, I love dogs. But then, then they hire people because they don't trust the dogs mm-hmm. and the dog don't respect them. Right. Why? Because that human is not sharing calm confidence. Gotcha. Any relationship with that calm confidence has no trust respect. We must give love when the state of mind is balanced. If the state of mind is not balanced, don't do love because you're going to be nurturing that. So you can end up nurturing security. Gotcha. It's okay, baby. It's okay. You're giving love at the wrong time. Mm -hmm. My clients are dog lovers. You guys are dog lovers. You see it? But you can't walk two poodles. Mm -hmm. And you can't introduce two poodles to a brand new pack. Thanks God these guys are balanced because their behavior would have triggered a fight. By them being in front doing that, barking, that's a fight. But it's, this is not about what breed is in front of you. This is about the state of mind that is in front of you. Right, right. So we, we should never judge a, a breed or a human by his race. Right, right, 100%. You see, it's the same. Mm-hmm. So not because it's a pit bull, it guarantees aggression. And not because it's a poodle, it guarantees intelligence. <laughs> you know, so, they, so here, as you see, now they are next to me practicing calm surrender. So when they practice calm surrender, they're practicing waiting. They're practicing patience. You see it, look, and then here. Obviously, because you don't do this enough, the attention span doesn't give you more than five minutes. Mm-hmm. You understand? So if you don't practice discipline or structure, the brain will not know how to work on that concept for a long period of time. And to accomplish anything in life, you have to be disciplined and focused. So our dogs need to practice discipline and focus after exercise. So what what kind of exercise dogs do? Walk or run Mm -hmm. or swim, right? So most people don't walk a dog enough, you know? And so if you don't walk a dog enough, that means that dog is behind fences 24 hours a day. Right? So exercise, discipline is not punishment. Discipline is the ability to do the same thing every single day. Right? So anybody that is going to achieve things in life, they need to be disciplined. Even when you structure when he's going to eat, when he's going to poop, all that is discipline. Discipline is not punishment. Discipline is what, I, what, I, what helps you achieve from uh, goals, discipline, and there's achievement. You have goals, right? I want to achieve this. But for that, you need discipline. So here, I'm going to share the water. So right now they saw the water coming in and they wanted to move towards it. But if they move towards it, and then I won't have the, the ability to, to actually invite them into the water. Okay. Right, it's like an ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. So if they learn to wait, see, they don't know how to wait. Mm-hmm. That's right. So their behavior is showing this dog's don't have discipline. But for right now, they're like on their best behavior. Because I'm holding the leash. I mean, normally at home, they're like, I mean, just yesterday, I'm like blocking the door and she like moved my leg, ran out off the leash, yeah. started barking at all the yeah. neighbors. And- but that's no respect. You see, so your presence means no respect. Because what you represent is a dog lover. I do. You see what I mean? Mm-hmm. So. You need to be a knowledgeable dog lover. Just like you're learning about how to be a mom, that's knowledge. The love is one thing, but the knowledge is what's what's gonna help you not to drive yourself crazy. So what do you have to learn? Okay, so how do I tire this kid and how do I keep this kid, you know, busy in the mind so I can give him love? Mm -hmm. Exercise, discipline, affection, body, mind, heart, body, mind, heart. If you're the type of mom who only gives affection, 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 you're going to be in the super nanny show. <laughs> right? If you do affection, 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 you're going to be in my show. So here, then we come to the water. Shh. 
Not yet. Even the water, they have to learn to wait. Look, look at this one. This one is your most excited, so this one is going to trigger this one. Yeah. They feed off each other. Oh, oh, yeah, like a family. So if this one learn, there you go. And there you go. see, I'm rewarding that. So I'm using water to reward a behavior. Mm -hmm. Most people, they just leave water and they don't utilize water, which water is life. Water, food, shelter, family. Yeah, their food and water is always down. That's bad. They always <laughs> you know what I mean? That's how they do chickens and pigs and all of that. Like they have food all the time so it can okay. grow faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so the, is the, the right way is you provide so they know the water comes from you. Food comes from you. Okay. And make them wait for it. And make them wait for it. Because you, you, everybody waits for a paycheck. You see what I mean? We're the only species that pays for food and water. They have no idea that we pay for it. So what they have to learn is how to work for it. I, I feel like I get nervous because it's not like my specialty. I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to the dogs. So like with my kids, I know like, you know, what they Instincts, need instincts. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I just get nervous like before a walk. I'm like, oh, they are known. I don't know what to do. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But that's why you need to go and look for professionals and, and say, okay, I need to understand how not to feel nervous from walking a dog. Okay. I need to understand how to set rules, bounds, and limitations while I play. I need to understand how I can create a limit or a boundary so she doesn't go too far. So then the knowledge gets rid of your nervousness. Right. What you're saying, I don't have the knowledge, that's all. Yeah. But you live in America. I mean, and plus social media, you can find that knowledge everywhere. Yeah. You know, obviously life is better because this is better than social media. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you're experiencing the energy that you can't experience on YouTube. You know, anything is just calmness. Visualize. So you visualize the dog on the treadmill walking, even though she's never done it. Right? That's it. So this, so your job on Earth is to learn to, to, uh, to channel the energies and then manifest what you want. That's pretty much it. That's way before you go to school, because you're an avatar, right? So you have to, you you're born with these energies, and then you have dreams and goals. That's the manifestation, yeah. right? So first is the energy, and then what you want to achieve. Then you go do it. <laughs> Look. So here. This is flight, this is surrender, okay? So you give her no choice, you give her no option. That's it, okay? So that was the first time. As you saw, she's like, normally my humans don't ask me to do that, and if they do, I can refuse. And then my humans give in. You see it? So then, then you're saying fight, flight, avoidance is not allowed. Surrender is the only thing that's allowed. Surrender means you open your mind. You know? So when we go to church and things like that, we surrender too. That's that kind of surrender, not, not anything less than that. Excuse me, Vincent. Second time. See the smoothness? So that's called discipline. So now the brain is learning fight, flight, avoidance, is not an option. Following him is an option. Okay, that is, well, I'm talking to this, to the animal, not the poodle. Animal, dog, breed, name. I don't even know her name or age or gender is irrelevant. You understand? So it's animal. All animals fight, flight, avoid, or surrender. You see it? And then the, the dog is nose, eyes, ears. That's why I'm not talking. I want her nose, her eyes, to be involved in the learning. That makes it a lot. So here now the, the floor is moving. This is really good. Normal, normal. She's doing the same thing as she did in the beginning. See how she's coming down? She's understanding that, that uh, uh, nothing bad is happening. And we have to understand that, that a treadmill to a dog means the floor is moving. So the only time the floor moves on Earth is an earthquake. So for them to move out of the floor moving is normal. 
But for them to learn to stay there, we create trust. You get it? And the only way you can do it is calm confidence. Yeah, if she jumped off, I would have like given up. That's right, because you would, you would, you would get nervous about it. You will go into a flight state. Yes, of course, you're the well, mom. I'm feeling nervous no, right no, now. No, 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 but, but then we got to go through it. Okay. So the good thing, look, right now, because you have a coach, you're allowed to get as unstable as you want to. Okay. Right? Because we're going to overrule whatever negative energy you are allowed to have because you got to go through it. Okay. Now, do me a favor. Just like, you are, just like you are very conscious of saying I'm nervous right now, once you achieve it, I need you to celebrate it. Like, yeah, I did it! Okay. Like that type of thing. Like when he jumps and says, yeah, I did it. And everybody's filming him. Like, oh, dude, you did amazing. You know what I mean? That celebration. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. Yep. Don't look at the dog. Just do it. And then press the green one. Oh. Oh. Yep. Look, even the little one wants to join in. Actually, we can do both of them right now, what? Oh, no, but that one has a surgery. Beautiful. So once, so because, you know, this is a, if, if you guys ever get a, like a treadmill, so you put a dog on the treadmill while you go and do your cooking or your cleaning or your mumming thing. You see it? So, of course. They, they, they see. They see and they imitate. Come this way. So now... You become her Netflix. Oh, wow. <laughs> See it? And that creates discipline. I don't know. But it's don't go and do the story because it's not fair. You're creating don't a story. Don't think about it. Well, it's, it's nothing, that is not happening. Okay. So you're creating a story out of nothing. Okay. The reality is she's going through it. Just like when you were giving birth, you're going through it. Yeah. So you're supposed to go through things. And you're supposed to let them go through things so they can mature. That's it. But if you, yeah. if you go into the story, you're going to, I feel bad for her. Let me stop it. <laughs> but you're nurturing you, not yeah. her. Okay. What are you learning? Um, How about yourself? I'm the problem. Good. And love is coming first. That's right. My love for her. Yeah, but then you turn love into, into nervousness. Because you love her so much, you get nervous for her. For what? She's doing great. Yeah. So I can show you. So you never done a stroller walk with both of them. You can get it. So leash all the way in the top. It has the brakes. And then you go for a walk. See it? I used to go on rollerblades pushing my, my younger son on a, on, a, on, a, on a, what is it called, this thing? Stroller. On a stroller. I was on, I was on rollerblades, he was on a stroller, Andrew was on a bike, and then we had 65 dogs. <laughs> yeah. That's, I was, I, listen, I was a mom and a dad at the same time. And I was a dog guy. Wow. Yeah. So, wow. so two dogs, two poodles is the easiest thing in the planet. The secret, the secret sauce, secret sauce is belief. Okay. Yeah, short, there you go. Short, short, not tense. Yeah, everything in life is that. Just grab it with one hand, just go. Boom. Go. Okay. Yeah. Just got tall. Let's do this. Yep. Yay! So before you go with the, with the baby, you do it without the baby. So you, you learn. You see how they go in front of you? Yeah. Yeah. So if they go in front of you, just go, just go, just go through it. Go through it? He's very sensitive. She's very sensitive to the, to the heat. Okay. Yeah, just stay right here. So I feel pulling from, probably because she's sensitive to the heat, right? Right. That, okay. See, now that's, the, that's how you're supposed to feel. There you go, like that. There you go. Yeah, that's good. That's, okay. that's normal. That's normal. That's normal? That's normal. Because she has to learn to get out of your way. So what most people do, they move out of the way of the dog. So, so it's almost, yeah, so it's almost like you're running them over, but you're just teaching them to move out of the way. Oh, uh, okay. So your first time is like, 
you know, so they are conscious of your body moving. Okay. Right? But if you do this, and then they go right in front of you. So they don't give you personal space or intimate space because you're not claiming it. You move back okay. or you hesitate, and then they just go right. Okay. But if you, it's not rude. Almost you're just like claiming you space. They're not there. There's plenty of space over here. They don't have to be in, in front of you, okay. right? It doesn't make any sense. So it's like a person that's walking like this. It's like, hey, dude, just, you have your yeah. own space over here. Okay. So just understand what you're, what you're saying is you want your personal space to be for you. Okay. Unless you request for them to come in. Otherwise, they're not invited. Okay. You see it? So you're just claiming every step. So you aura is calm, comfort, love, and joy, my personal space, pushing the car, 30 minutes. That's all. So then your mission becomes very clear. And your space, your commanding space, you're not demanding, you're commanding. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So then you eventually you can go into a little bit more exercise type. And then you just take it to the next level. Okay. Let's do it again. Yep, like that. Feels good, right? Feels good, right? Huh? It does feel good. Yeah, baby! I feel like I'm leading them finally. Yeah! So imagine if you do this for the next hundreds of years. You master it. That was so cool. I felt like free, not like I'm on a leash. <laughs> I feel like normally I'm on. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and join me on my mission of better humans, better planet.